Sam Arbizo, who's our assistant producer, super producer here at DLTV, and he has spent some quality time with a pretty interesting product, a Linux-based media center-style device called the Neuros OSD, and I think we're going to take a look at that right now. The Neuros OSD is a digital media center that allows you to record and play back a variety of video formats. It's got no internal memory, but it does allow you to use just about any form of memory. It also has a music player, lets you play MP3s and some other odd formats that you don't normally see. And it also has a component that allows you to browse YouTube, just in case you get bored with all your own stuff. The Neuros OSD open source device is based on the Linux operating system. And because of that, you're encouraged to tweak away to your heart's content. The Neuros is incredibly easy to set up. Simply open the box, plug in the power, video in and out, the network plug, and it's ready to go. The Neuros has no internal storage, but accepts nearly any storage media, including USB thumb drives, USB hard drives, SD cards, memory sticks, and compact flash and micro drives. The first thing you should do is update the firmware, which is easy to do. Just access it through the menu and sit back and wait. The Neuros supports a variety of video formats, including VGA 640x480, NTSC 720x480, Sony PSP, and iPod format. The video can be encoded as MP4, ASF, AVI, and QuickTime H.264. The Neuros is a great way to record video from TV or your cable and convert it for later consumption on your iPod or PSP. Using the included IR blaster, the Neuros can control the TV or tuner so you can schedule recordings of shows on any channel. The Neuros OSD overall seems to be a great device. It's easy to use, easy to set up. Pretty intuitive, the menu systems are nice, the controller is nice. It allows you to use a wide range of video compression options so you can record for your iPod or your PSP and watch your video later. The one big drawback I did see was the lack of HD support, but considering the price at $180, uh, it's a pretty good deal for the most part. I'm Sam Arbizo, assistant producer for DLTV, and there you have it. I'm curious, Sam, did it have widescreen support? Sam's in the back. Yeah, not, that I, not that I saw <laughs> directly, but on that TV behind you, it worked fine. Wide okay. Screen. So, apparently, it, it has some kind of widescreen support, and it looks pretty good on the uh, HD TV as well. But, you know, I liked it because it had FLAC support, which is a right. lossless audio codec that I've re-encoded all of my CD audio discs into. And it would be nice just to uh, hook that up on my network oh, yeah, and be able to stream that. There's all those free Aug. formats. Any, any open source formats, it should be able to support and decode. Yeah. But I believe it's using an ARM-based processor, so when you get into some of the heavy-duty compressed formats, it might not. That's probably yeah. why you're not going to see support for H-64 you know, or high-def resolution yeah. or things like that. Yep. Sweet. And anyway, speaking of Zenuros OSD, once we have worked it out with our legal department, <laughs> we will <laughs> it takes be time. Relax. It does. I, I have no patience. <laughs> uh, we will be giving away the, the great. Neuros OSD. So do stay tuned for that. This very one, I think. Oh, wait. What did I do with the box? I'll oh, we'll show you a box. What the yeah. Dun, 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 dun. It's pretty. Yep, it's it cool. is. This is it. It's convenient. There you go. Power efficient. And, uh, you know, there you go.